Hundreds of cases of theft from cars, stolen vehicles, and property damage. And for the first time, CBS News Philadelphia has been able to verify reports of car thefts from across the region. All the work of a group of teenagers from Wilmington. Chief investigative reporter Joe Holden obtained the law enforcement bulletin and has this exclusive report. Good evening, Haverford Township Police say this is all pretty simple. A group of juveniles gets out of a car in a neighborhood and then goes from car to car checking on door handles. They've struck it rich in a few neighborhoods, almost 40 complaints of thefts from vehicles. This dash cam footage obtained exclusively by CBS News Philadelphia Investigations shows a group of teens in what investigators say is a stolen BMW SUV making their getaway from Haverford Township Police. Officers called off the pursuit late Monday night for safety reasons. The stolen car was later located north of Wilmington where investigators say the teens live. A law enforcement bulletin sent to police in Pennsylvania, New Jersey and Delaware reveals the teens are alleged to be responsible for hundreds of thefts from unlocked cars all over the Delaware Valley. This band is, seems to be the same band that's working the whole it's tri state area. It's not just uh, Pennsylvania or Delaware County. Uh, we've, been, we've had liaisons from New Jersey and from Delaware. We feel uh, that they're coming out of Delaware in the same stolen car working areas. On Tuesday, police say they received three dozen complaints of theft from unlocked cars. Add to that, two cars were stolen. Detectives say this video shows the teens running back to their car after stealing property from unlocked vehicles. It's for my peace of mind. I mean, you know, my kids aren't around anymore. Carolyn Brady lives on busy Brookline Boulevard. She installed a camera system because of the recent car thefts. That's when I made my husband. I'm like, that's it. I want the security cameras up. And that's what we did. Given the volume of thefts and the crossing of state lines, it wasn't clear if federal law enforcement has become involved. The spokesperson for the FBI couldn't confirm if there was an investigation. I'm Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia.